Today, we're going to look at some fixings, some of the most common fixings around. Not all fixings, of course, because we don't have the time. But we've got wall grabs, which require no drilling. We have everyone's favourite wall mates, although these are a generic brand. I just got to pick them up on eBay. We have hit anchors, which are a big um, favourite of a lot of people. Not my personal favourite, but we'll see how they go. We have these universal anchors by Ram Set. Never used those before. That's going to be a lot of fun. Ram toggles. A lot of people swear by these. I'm not a big fan, but we'll see how they go. One of my favourites, the old spring toggle. And classic Jesus fixing, which will get you out of a bind if you're in the shit. Okay, first we're going to start off with these little wall grabs. Pretty straightforward, just drill them in and see what happens. We're going to start out with five kilos. Four kilos. Three kilos. All right. So we uh, we put in what's that? Twelve kilos before it gave up. But um, to be fair, it did give up at twelve kilos. We can say nine. I think we can say nine. Next up, we have the wall, mate. Five kilos. Four more kilos. Three kilos. Now I'm feeling confident. They say these will hold 20, so I'll put in another five and give us a total of what's that? 16? 17? <laughs> 17 kilos. Didn't really go the distance. The next one is the hit plug. Now I don't have hit pliers, but I'm pretty sure we can just do them up with a screwdriver anyway. So we'll start with a pilot hole. Slip that sucker in. Now a lot of people think these are fantastic, so I'm going to start off with 5 kilos. We should be able to hold easily what the wall mate did. 5 kilos, another one, that's 10, with another 4 to make 14. Another 3 to make another 3, that'll put us right on 20. I can hear that. <laughs> so make 21. I can hear it. Another two kilos to make 25. Another two to make 27. Three to make 30. All right, so it failed at 30, so we're going to call that uh, 27. But to be fair, it was making a lot of... <laughs> A lot of crackling noises long before. We were making crackling noises at about 12 kilos. So it wouldn't have lasted long. Next, the uh, Ramset Universal Anchor. Quite expensive little suckers these, but um, apparently they're good. We'll soon find out.
start off with five kilos. Three more makes eight kilos. Three more makes eleven. Another two kilos. And two more makes fifteen. Another three makes eighteen. And another three makes twenty-one. Just gonna try another four to make twenty-five kilos. It actually sounds pretty good. Make twenty-nine. I was trying to warn you the jip rock was bending. <laughs> right, so I think we can safely say 25. Next we have the ram toggle. <laughs> no one thinks you're funny, you know. How are we looking up top? That's an excellent question. No, we're looking shit. <laughs> so, this is why I'm not a big fan of these. They're great when they work, but they're shit when they don't. So, let's run with the um, put them in shit to start with, and then we'll take it from there. Five kilos. In another five makes ten. Let's go for another three three kilos and another three kilos another three kilos <laughs> and another three kilos what are we up to we're up to uh, 6 and 19 this will make 22 we might have another go at that and see if we can put it in correctly although in the real world you're not going to be able to see the back of it anyway Let's, let's have a second attempt at the warp ram toggle. No. no. Let's have a look and see what it looks like on top. Clearly, I need a longer screw. Now, another one of my personal favourites, the spring toggle. Easy to use and effective. One of the things I like about the spring toggle is that you can just attach it to whatever it is that you're fixing. And then when you're ready, just push it into the ceiling space. And that's it. It also gives you a little bit of lateral movement. And they're easy to get out, except you sacrifice it. So we'll go five kilos. I'm still feeling confident, so we'll put in another five kilos. Plus another four makes 14. Another four makes 18. Another three makes 21. Another three makes 24. Another three makes 27. Another three makes 30. Another two makes 32. And another two makes 34. Another one and a half makes 35 and a half. Another one and a half makes 37. <laughs> uh, let's call it 35. So Jesus fixing is made simply by punching a little divot in a bit of hoop iron or something. Any bit of sheet metal will do the job. Run a screw through it. Snip that off. 
And there we have the Jesus fixing. For the Jesus fixing, you need to cut across. Let's start with five kilos. Another four makes nine kilos. Another three makes 12 kilos. And another three makes 15 kilos. And another three makes 18 kilos. Another three makes 21 kilos. Another two makes 23 kilos. Another two makes 25 kilos. Let's go another four for 29 kilos. <laughs> well, I think we can say we're happy with 25 kilos. <laughs> Jesus, look at the size of the hole. After trying out all these fixings, I think it's fair to say that the one that did the poorest job would have been exactly as you'd expect, the uh, wall grab, but to be fair, it's not meant to hold heavy loads. The, um, the wall mate, the old classic wall mate surprised me. Uh, I would have expected it would hold more than it did. The hits were pretty well as expected. One thing I don't like about the wall mates and also the hits, for that matter, the universals and also the, um, the ram toggles, is they all sit proud a little bit. So if you need to fit exactly flush, then they're just not going to cut it. The uh, universal anchor was a very much a surprise at how much they held. Uh, although, when we screwed it up, we discovered that you can't really tell what's going on behind the scenes. So... It, when we first screwed it up, we thought it was done up, but it wasn't. I don't know how you... you just need to do them tight. The uh, ram toggle we had serious problems with. They're probably really good at holding a heavy load, but installing them is an art form. I've seen people install these one after the other after the other, and they worked fantastic. But for me, it just didn't happen on the day. The most serious of all... My, one of my old favourites was the spring toggle, uh, even there, even though I've used them many times before and been happy with, with, with them, I had a fair idea what they were going to hold, I was still surprised at how much they held, they would be the standout of the day. Also, the Jesus fixing, who would have thought, such a simple concept uh, to get you out of trouble, pain in the ass because you need to cut across, and, um, but they're a very effective fitting. One that we didn't test was this. Some people, some people call them anchor plugs. I've used thousands of them. They are very easy to use and very effective, provided you have the right screw for the job. There are two start screws and there are single start screws and they're different sizes. If you have the right one, they're great. However, I have discovered and I've stopped using them over time because my experience has been that when I go back to jobs that are 10 years old, these things have given up. They're great the day that you install them. So if you're installing them in a position where uh, you don't care what happens after you leave, then they're great. But if you, if you want the equipment that you're fixing to still be there in 10, 20 years, don't use anything plastic is my advice.